We have our loser bracket semi-final between 5i and Pogchamp. Winner will play against Unleashed for a grand final spot. So, gonna be a very entertaining game. 5i being a bit of a surprise here. I don't think anyone expected them to be in the top four. But here they are. They were able to beat five guys in the quarterfinal as well. Early in this tournament. So, doing a good job. Pogchamp again having a Venus or Jungle. But this time only two supports. They're actually going to a slow bro now. So no longer the triple support that I used to run early into this tournament, drop the Aedagos, and instead playing a slow Bruno for the bot side. We have Hi-Fi playing a top lane Machamp, no Lucario for them. Bot side, very standard, Hooper, Blissey, Pikachu, something very, very standard looking. Pikachu, I think, struggles kinda hard into Venus or Team Bombs, doesn't really do any damage later on, but has very strong early game style, so is able to do a lot of damage here with the Muscle Band, Auto Attacks, and his abilities, which are very, very strong in the early game. And you can see Five Fire being very, very aggressive here. Who's gonna get the Strat and Blissey secures it for the red team? Dr. Ember is able to hound the Sordino and secure it for his team. Going back to their side now. Gonna try to secure this, maybe give it over to Pikachu if they can. Yeah, if they do, Pikachu gets it. Gonna get close to level 4. To unlock maybe Thunder or Electro Ball. I assume it's gonna be Thunder. I don't think Electro Ball makes much sense against what side of Pogchamp has, so let's see. Now it's Electro Ball, okay. He does have Electro Ball. Let's see if he goes late into a Void Tackle as well. Maybe that's his plan to just lock up the Venusaur. But yeah, we have an Electro Ball, maybe for some last hitting. It does have an advantage over Thunder and just being last hitting, but Thunder just does much more damage over the course of the game. But Thunder Boy doesn't have to be aimed and has good last hitting. Also has Execute damage, so yeah. I'm gonna try and get for this Odino, but he actually doesn't get it. I think his team secured it. Virtu Sun still struggling to find level 4 right here. Only level 3 on the Slowpoke. He's gonna maybe find the Water Gun right here? No, he doesn't. Oh, but his teammates gets it. Again, another Blissey with the Pound. Is able to get it, and he gets level 4. Looking at top side, Machev actually doing very well. Being the same level as Lucario. So, a good early game for him. So, you're securing this APOM. Hope safe. And he's gonna just look to maybe for a score now. Goes back to the side of the map. Both junglers. On the second jungle rotation. Yoshi a bit behind though. We already see Keep having his entire jungle cleared. This already has the Rapids from Water Spout, both unlocked. And Yoshi is struggling right now to find his level 7. I mean, he's not really struggling, he's just a bit behind when it comes to how fast the jungle was cleared. Does hit level 7 now, and they're both pretty much the same experience. He's just spawning in 20 seconds, and it looks like it's going to be 2v2 top lane, unless one of the Hoopers is also going to port their teammates towards top side. But we have Yoshi and Sayu going in a 2v2 right here, and Sayu is dropping very, very low. Goes towards the berry though, picks it up. The top side of 5i is dropping very low, and Yoshi is trying his hardest to maybe get a kill. It's probably a serious focus to spend up as well. He's gonna work on those auto attacks and boosted auto attacks that are so annoying from this Ivy Saw. And Machamp goes down, Sayu secures this kill, and I think, yeah, I, yeah, Auto also dies. Sayu getting a nice kill, and he's gonna get a 40 second attack rate here. He's gonna pick all of those up one by after one, or maybe not. Maybe he has it. it might only be fully stacked then. If he's not going for any more scores. Or just wants to bot lane very, very fast. He's gonna red tight towards bot lane, but they do, have a, do they not have hyperspace? No, they have trick. They have a Venusaur jungle, so they decide to go into trick instead of the hyperspace, so they actually have to walk towards bot lane. Yoshi almost level 9 now, and 5i is just going for this. They just want this red now very fast. They know that they probably don't have a chance when it comes to a team fight, but they're going to die. Pika's already dead. Already one kid, two kids, much dies. The Blissey's about to die any moment as well. It's gonna run for the hits, but Dr. Emperor gets taken down. That's a double kill for Lucario, three kids in total for the side of Pog Gems. And they're gonna secure an easy dread unless Keep can Keep get this maybe. He's going to his water spot any second. Oh, his fluffy tail, but no, Sayu gets him at the extreme speed and is able to get it. Is able to get it. The water spot rapid zone wasn't pretty not up, so he couldn't go for it. Yoshi is Unite moving, but what? He completely whiffed it. Whiffs his Unite move. But they're gonna get the goal to 2 HP, so getting some nice scores in. Over 100 point lead already. Darvik's looking out for some attack rate stacks. And also for a bit of scores, trying to get level 9. Actually, see a cross shop as well. Going for the cross shop in this game. Quite, quite interesting. No release, always see the close combat now. But the sides are going to something else instead. On the bot side, Sayu picking up a 1v2 kill. That's out of his Unite move. Is he gonna kill Dr. Emperor as well? Yes. Have a kill for Sayu. And he's gonna clear the Sardinos, he's not gonna break the goal, he can clear all these Sardinos, and then he can start breaking the goal slowly, but yeah, he's not gonna break it right now, it doesn't really make much sense with all this experience being up. He's gonna go for the beast now, wait for the Pikachu to be back, and he actually just goes for the Pikachu, Pikachu should be very very careful not to just die to him. Sayu already level 11, he's the highest level in the game together with his own Venusaur, absolutely popping off so far in this game. 
And he's going for more kills again. He's just running into them. Oh my god, the damage is so insane. And he just gets another double kill. <laughs> they just have no chance. The hyperspace comes out. Are they going to port bot lane? They can't though. He's going to kill with a 38 overkill. Going back to top side now. They're trying to defend this Rotom. And Pogchamp is running away with this game. Sayu. This is why he's one of the best Lucario players in the world. He just does... Hey, he just does damage that no other Lucario does damage with. He's absolutely crazy with this Pokemon. And if there was a banning system, I think everyone would just ban Lucario against him. But there's no banning system, so he just gets to run rampant on it every single game. Unless he goes into a triple access arena. Hopefully we don't see that <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Wasn't the prettiest sight. And he's going for another kill on Dravix. No, can't quite find it. Dread spawning in 10 seconds. They again have a Hoopa, so they can just stay topside. Go look for another cheeky score, only 15 points, but whatever. Hoopa unbound already being popped. Both Hoopas are using their Unites. And everyone's just gonna pot in. But Venusaur is too deep already. Gets this Unite moved and it's gonna hit all of them as well. They already get stunned. Stop Unite is hitting Keep. Keep, can he get his Unite move off? Yes, he does. But I don't think it's gonna do too much here. He just has to run away with it. And they only get one kill though. Machamp goes down. Blissey went down for Pogchamp, so one for one in the end. But Brian is very, very deep here. Gets taken down. Sayu is also back. The Bone Rush. Gonna finish off Pikachu. Can Dravix at least find a kill? He's, he's gonna auto take him to death. He doesn't have to use his Unite move there. And he's gonna use it maybe now. No, does he run off time? No, there it is. He hits the slow, bro, but so far you take buttons away from it. Skew off team meanwhile getting the Dread now quite easily. Almost level 30 now. He's going with the Pedidance Dance Plus very, very soon. And it's looking great. Almost 200 point lead as well for the set of Pogchamps. In complete control. Nice kill that these for the Machamp. They're killing Lucario, giving him a lot of comeback experience. Because Asayu is level 13. So, he donated over a lot of experience over to the Machamp. Who's actually level 12 as well now. So, not too bad for him. He's probably quite happy. Venusaur now level 13. An absolute monster. It's easily gonna be level 14 as well in this game. Rotom is also being taken, maybe now. No, they're just waiting for it. They're gonna wait for maybe Zapdos to spawn slowly and then it's gonna start taking it eventually. Another the Venusaur's here. They will start working on it. And Firefly is looking for a push on bot side. Looking for a push here, maybe to get some scores in. Bahabin is here to maybe do something, but he has to be very careful. He has to be checked button away. Almost dying there. Gets egg bombed again. Egg electro board. <laughs> just pitting him with every single ability. But he gets away. Now Sayu is here. Sayu? Can he find anything? No, the hyperspace comes off. They all get back to base. Can he find Inferno? Can he find the Pikachu? He blinks away from the last extreme speed. And gets away. Sayu now very, very low. Has to run for the hits. And he's actually going to look for some KC. He knows the beasts are up. He's going to dance on those beasts. He's going to heal up a lot. And Lucario is just a very balanced character. Takes those big beasts. Doesn't even have to base. Can just full heal. Back on them up again. Alright, Rotom is being cleared. Dravix looking for level 13. Looking for the Cross Shop Plus. Which will give him 80% uh, 80 more attack damage if he gets 40 auto attacks off. So it's very important for him to stack it up right now. There we go, it's gonna hit level 13, it's gonna get the Cross Shop Plus. And now he says to start basic attacking. Some things for his plus to have any sorts of value. Looking make a bot side. Bahain actually being 13 on the super. Very, very, very high level for a Hooper. Sayu almost level 14. There we go, Yoshi 14 and a half, so close to 15 as well. And they still have 100 point lead right now. 100 point lead, obviously, means Pogchamp doesn't want to do Zapdos here. And Firefly has to make their way towards Zapdos. But Keep is looking at the top side for maybe a backdoor. Sayu though knows what's up and he's just gonna go for him. He's gonna start poking him, Keep just running away. It's gonna slowly poke him a bit, but doesn't really do too much damage to a rapid spin. Blast toys. And he actually just pots in. They're gonna port towards Zapdos. Brian already using his Unite move there. And Slope is ready. Passive Link out. Bissinac goes into Venusaur. And now it's Venusaur's time. Yoshi is gonna run to them, but he actually gets knocked up. He's gonna XCC quite a lot. And this also gets Egg Bomb. It's Bissy. He's gonna die. Yoshi's dead. They're team wiped. Pogchamp gets team wiped. He's got stunned like a billion times there. And Pogchamp is gonna lose Zapdos here in the game. What? They get completely team wiped. And 5 a wins the last team fight of the game with a 4 to 1. Only Blissey, only losing Blissey. Bit of a mistake here, they should have let Brian score first. Drabix probably a bit too excited. And But the game is not over yet then. They missed 80 points right there. That's 80 points they just missed out on that they could have had. But Blasto is still having 62 points as well. He's gonna score 62 here with the double overtime still. Pogchamps are looking for a bot lane push. Have they got anything done? Slow bro, looking for serves already, waiting for Steam to be here. Then they don't have a lot of energy, Eos energy though right now, but they're gonna start scoring. All of them are gonna score, and it's getting close. 
And they port over top lane with Hooper as well. Hooper's here. If they get some kiss, they can still win. Pikachu is actually dead, dying to the Venusaur. We have a one for one so far. We also have Snowball dying. Those eight bombs are flying out, and Yoshi is still very, very strong. They have 20 seconds to go to maybe still win this game. Blastoise is back though. Does he have Unite Move Up? Yeah, he has every Unite Move Up. He's gonna hit all three of them, and that should be it. Lissy's down, Venusaur is down. Hooper's also running for the hits, is also going to die. Sayu just trying to score some points in the base, but it's not gonna matter. Egg Bomb. His Unite Move. He gets taken over the Cross Shop. And 5i wins the first game against PogChem. With an insane last team fight. Sayu, 91,000 damage on Lucario. But doesn't win the game. He does not win this game in the end. Game number two. Can 5i make another upset, hap upset happen? They already beat five guys again. One of the fan favorites in Europe early on this tournament. Are they gonna do it again? Are they also gonna break the hearts of the French people by beating out Pogchamp? We shall see. We shall see. Looking like the same team comes yet again. No changes there. So you got a Venusaur jungle against a Blastoise jungle, Lucario top against Machamp, bot lane, Pikachu against a Slowbro, but both teams always running Blissey Hooper. That's something we always almost always see, is both teams currently running Blissey and Hooper. Two so insanely strong Pokemon. They don't really need much experience either. It's gonna be played everywhere. And Blissey actually cracks his back during these Odinos, and he actually is gonna get one. Steals them away, steals one Odino away. Can they also secure this one? Machamp getting first blood on Sayu on top side. It's gonna get some attack base sex as well. Sayu! Dying 1v1 to Machamp. This early into the game. That is not normal. Again, one of the best Lucario players in the world. Sayu. And he gets taken down by Machamp. First blood going over to 5 by. What side though is knocking Krakow to Pock Champs, being able to secure almost all Odinos there. Dravix is gonna hit level 5 with this Corpfish. Or this Apom. There we go. It's gonna get level 5, gets the dynamic punch ready. Just in time for the bees, and Sayu is not gonna be level 5 now. He is not gonna be level 5. So maybe they can look for something. Damage Punch comes through, and Sayu is dropping so low again. Almost, almost dies. Barely gets away. Yoshi able to secure some of the small bees though. Pump safe is gonna go back for another jungle rotation now. Looking back to bot side, Vieto is surfing in. Can they find this last hit? No, I think it went over to Dr. Ampar there. With the Blissey. Always these pounds. Hyperspace, he's gonna get back to full HP. Takes one for the boys, back to base. Port is back with the hyperspace and just back in action. Electro Ball again, hitting three characters there, slowing them down a bit, doing a bit of damage, not too much. We see another Electro Ball game. Not sure if I agree with it necessarily, but again, it's pretty good last hitting for this 3v3 there. Keep now after the second jungle rotation, going back to top side. And Sayu being actually the same in level though now again, he kind of caught up again. It's the same level as much M. Full heats the. Oh, he full heats the dynamic punch, just gets away. Secures his APOM. Would have fully done. Buys a bit of time as well for his team. And he's still gonna be ahead now. After all of that, he's still gonna be ahead of the Machamp right now. But keep though, level 7. Yoshi also level 7. In the end, Pogchamp still having a, a, somehow a level experience on top side. Not sure how, but they managed to find it. Sayu, I guess, just getting more last hits than Machamp did. Gonna look for a kill now on the War Torte. Can't quite do it. These are spawning in 10 seconds as well again. Hyperspace comes off, and Hooper's actually porting towards top side. Hooper spotting towards top, making sure that maybe their jungler gets a further head. And Yoshi just abandons. He's like, yeah, okay, sure. I think Sayu can handle this on his own with his extreme speed. There we go. Just goes in, does a bit of damage. And he's going back to his jungle. Trying to secure level 9 here. Doing the 6 buffs before Dread. The thing that I really like doing. Just quick jungle rotations. Always speaking there when the buffs respawn. And he's almost level 9 now. Didn't get a kill or anything, and still almost level 9. He's going to get this Aldino as well from his team. He's preparing it for him. And he just needs one more thing. One more Dino. And he's gonna be level 9. This is gonna pull out the Dread, which means it would reset in HP. It's gonna buy them much more time. And there we go. Yoshi's level 9. Yoshi's level 9. Dropping is jumping in, but he's already way too late. He's gonna probably die. He has to blink away. Uh, Sayu's already on him. Another extreme speed's gonna take him down. But he just uses his auto takes. Doesn't even wanna use it. Doesn't wanna put his extreme speed on cooldown. And Machamp is down. Plus, he's spinning in. Oh, there's the Venusaur Unite. Can he actually get it with the Fluffy Tail? No, it goes out to Venusaur. Venusaur able to secure this Dread now. Now Brian's also in low attack, doesn't get to his hyperspace in time. He is going to die. Boxing's gonna look for some scores. 33 going for Lucario. 40 going for Venusaur. Yoshi's gonna be absolutely best again this game. 
same for Sayu. We have kind of the same as last game. Pogchamp is running over the early game, running over the first Dreadnought fight. Like it's nothing, even after Machem gets the early kill on Sayu, Sayu is still recovering insanely hard and is able to be one entire level ahead. Let's see if one of these teams is gonna go for this Rotom. And Sayu dying again on bot time. This time they have three of them to actually just keep him under control. And Sayu dies in every single Odino sub. They're also gonna score a lot of points here. 23 in Gunfor Blissey, 34 Pikachu. They're gonna be able to farm all of these Audinos. Just gonna make sure they die on down top lane and they do die on top lane. What are they doing? They could have just given it up completely. They didn't have to do this. Few of them go down, 21 for Blissey, 40 points for Venusaur. They could have just farmed this entire bot side and just been like, okay, that's a good trade, guys. Just defend top goal. Don't go too deep. But instead, all three of them go down. And uh, Pogchamps is looking so good in this game yet again. Looking super, super strong. Also claiming Rotom now. Gonna probably look for a bot lane push with this Rotom. Again, pushing pushing Rotom to the second tier goal is such an impossible task. Yoshi's gonna maybe look for it. But he has to be careful over here. But he's a Venusaur. I guess maybe the enemy team has to be careful. Nope, there's the Nemic Punch and he actually gets taken down. He has to use Unite move here. He has to use Unite for 20 seconds before Dread spawns. Is he gonna... He doesn't... He even dies. It's exactly what I mean. Just too overextended. And now a nice comeback experience for the side of Pi Fi on top side. Keep is gonna score 40 points as well. He's gonna be happy. And they will not have Venusaur Unite for this. Problem is Fi-Fi is a bit far away from this. Still as well. Koopa can unbounce soon and port his entire team in. Let's see if he puts the portal. But Vyrus is already looking for him. He's gonna Unite move him. No, he doesn't. Then Sopo becomes us for like he goes into Unite move first. Goes invincible by pulling into it. And now Fi-Fi is here. But yeah, Venusaur doesn't have Unite moves. They're not fighting it. Sayu's just trying his best to maybe get some kids, but Yoshi's actually here now. Yoshi's here. Can they fight anything with Yoshi? Again, he doesn't have Unite move, but he's slowly dropping in HP. The Egg Bomb hits him, and he actually gets taken down. Two kills for the both sides so far. Sayu is still alive. A huge blast is here, comes off, but Sayu with the Unite move is able to claim this Dread now. Double kill for Machamp, but Dread goes over to the side of Pogchamps. Baha Bean is probably going to die as well. Gets a Namek Punch. Shadow Boy Stun is going to happen anytime soon. There we go. And he's going to get taken out by the Hyperspace Portal Damage. And both are going to get out. Go back to base. And what is this? What? Crackies? Unite moving there. Maybe he expected them to come back from the portal? I mean, it doesn't matter in the end, but still. I assume he thought they might come back through the portal, but I mean, why would they? <laughs> why would they come back to the portal? Trying to be a bit too hard to be predictive there. But yeah, let's go back to base, jump towards top side. And why would you take this hyperspace back into the enemy's cool? It wouldn't make sense. All right, another Rotom is spawning. Hawkshem is ready to start taking it. Here on top side. It's gonna go over to them, but again, it's probably not gonna do much. It's most likely not gonna do anything, but again, it gives some experience at least. The one that gets lasted on it gets some good experience out of it, gets some EOS energy as well. And we form it into Zeptos. Game looking pretty similar to last game. 90 point lead for the set of Pogchamp. Auto is gonna get cleared now very, very easily. Dravix level 13, actually. Dravix in level 13, quite high level. On this Machamp again. Yoshi on his way to level 14. Sayu looking for level 13. Wants the Bone Rush Plus. More than anything else right now. But there's nothing up right now. There's no farm for him. A Corpus has respawned. He's just guarding topside. But Champ actually looking for something here. But he's just recording the brush. And yeah, Sayu's gonna go for this Corpus. Go for this Corpus as well. And there should be level 13 for him. Quite easily. But besides that, level is super close. The highest level is obviously the Yoshi on Venusaur. But we still have a level 13 Blasters as well, who might be actually level 14 anytime soon as well. He's kinda close to it. Kinda close to level 14. He's gonna try and get it. There's Odinos respawning on top side. They're leaving it for him. So, they just said, okay, get Blasters on level 14. It's gonna be very, very important to match this Venusaur in damage. Yoshi trying to scout them out on bot side. Fire Fire is looking for a push in. And Dr. Emperor is just face checking in on this Blissey, but has the safeguard. He's gonna try to run away, he's gonna egg bomb as well. But he's dropping super super low on HP and this focus band already procked. But Hooper Unite comes through, but the Blissey goes dead. The portal was a death sentence for the, for the Blissey. Double kill for Sayu. Venusaur Unite flies across the screen. Can Dubbix find anything? He finds a nice Unite, but it's not enough. Yoshi gets safeguarded. Has those uh, Giga Drains as well. Has there's focus band. And two are dead on the side of Fi Fi now. That was gonna be started. And I don't know if Fi can go back into this. Keep keep running, is still looking for something. Bliss Unite is still going on to him now. But he has no cooldowns right now. He has absolutely no cooldown. Zeptos is under half HP. But it actually could be quite close. Sayu is going to find Inferno any second now. 
Ooh, he can't quite. His X-Wing Speed is not up right now. Keep is still looking for the Zepdos. They're gonna take a hyperspace back to base. They're gonna rejoin with full HP. Actually, Blastus couldn't take it. It was on cooldown. Blastus has to jump back to his team. Zepdos still under half HP. One minute to go. Brian goes down though. Dropix looking for dynamic punch. Frost shops back into the hyperspace. Also goes back to base very fast. It's gonna get to full HP. And this hyperspace is having so much win in these fights. Now they're gonna just go for the flip. They have Fluffy Tail. Can they actually get it? They get it! No way! They get Zepdos! The hyperspace is just getting crazy value. Putting them to base multiple times, getting them back to full HP. And they actually get Zeptos. They get Zeptos, they're 10 points ahead right now. Keep Keep is gonna run towards enemy base. I'm gonna try some counter scores here. And Pogchamp! Pogchamp on the verge of elimination right here. Pogchamp might be out of this tournament. Five fight with the upset of the century. About to happen. I remember, Pogchamp won the last big tournament. They won the World Championship European tournament back in March. And they're about to be eliminated by Five Eye. Unbelievable. They pull up. What an upset. What an upset. About to make top three. They're gonna face Unleashed for a grand final spot. Wow. What an upset. Where is Zeptos team fight? I mean, they fought it pretty well. They used the hyperspaces to perfection. The trick of Pogchem just not doing enough compared to the hyperspace there. Getting them so often back to base, giving them full HP. And they're able to get the Electro Ball. Lasted on Zeptos. Wow. Nice damage in the game on Yoshi, but they're out of the tournament. 5i moves on.